You want to be on bonehead truckers? I'm what? Bonehead truckers. That's where you're headed. Ah, the bonehead truckers. Yeah, yeah, it's where you're going. Oh, uh, shoot. I think I just ran out of blinker fluid. Just sitting here with all the knees right now. Shut the fuck up! It's cold outside and I got my flip flops and my pajamas on. <laughs> Flippy flops is cold. It's wet. It's icy. And I, I, I need a shirt. I think I need a shirt that says real truckers don't wear flip flops. Only on boneheadtruckers.com. But it's cold. Do you even trucker, bro? Burr. Okay, Ike. Here we are in Hickory, North Carolina. Let me zoom in a little bit. You see the warning sign? That's been up for the last 30 years. But you see what's down there on the tracks? Yeah. Let me see if I can drive by and get you some better footage. Sorry for the shakiness. He's messed up his landing gear good. He's done wedged in the rail. Yep. Well, there's your another bonehead. When they mess up, they do it right. Here's another doggone view of the the swifty swift of canada them snow mexican swifty swift bison transport is that what they call them up there anyway they stuck on the truck there's another sign that we just passed you stucky stucky uh they're gonna do crank of shame but it ain't gonna work because you're doggone you doggone stuck you stuck on there and you can't get out you better call Yoda up. Maybe he can make your doggone truck and trailer fly off of the son of a gun. Welcome to this week's edition of Bonehead Truckers of the Week. This is a place we make fun of the dumb stuff we see out here on the road. So if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. If you don't hit that like button, you and I ain't friends no more. That's right. I'm not going to be your friend. You want me as your friend. Because maybe, maybe someone sends you a clip or sends me a clip of you. I won't put it on there. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, what are you talking about? Clips. Uh, uh, you can email your clips, boneheadtruckers.com. Contact at boneheadtruckers.com. That's our email address. So if you want to send us some clips there, we'll try to see if it fits on these uh, videos. You know how it goes. Sometimes they just don't. Don't be mad at me if they just don't. Listen, we get a lot of good stuff, a lot of bad stuff, and a lot of fillers. And sometimes they're not even good to be a filler. I'm just saying. Uh, this was pretty good, though. Hey, don't you agree? Uh, swing wide is a freaking trailer like everywhere you go. Like, just, just you, listen, this is not a hard job. Driving a truck, and you don't have to really, like, like come on. You, you got the mail. No wonder I ain't getting my bills. Yeah, you know what? Stay right there. That's U.S. mail right there. Yeah, uh, just stay right there because I don't want those bills. Maybe that may, maybe my bill collectors would understand. I didn't get my mail because it was stuck in the ditch because a bonehead trucker doggo freaking did what they did. They couldn't swing wider, stuck in the ditch, leaving the truck stop because they just had to get their soda water and cheeseburger. Are you ready for winter yet? I mean summer. Are you ready for winter to be over? <laughs> 
Uh, are you ready for summer? I'm ready for summer. I already got my flip-flops on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm barefoot. What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, jeez. Oh, God, yeah. What we got up here? We got a construction zone. A couple of trucks up here. One's pulling out. Oh, oh, oh no, my ears. My ears. Oh, man. Man. Man, doggone prime pulling out in front of everybody. I hurt my ears and Marty dirties. I tell you, well, here comes another one. Just doesn't stop. Like, hey, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out in front of this semi. You can't be that dumb, but maybe you are. You know, maybe you just are. You got freaking people dropping their trailers out here, out there in the highway. Good thing no one was hurt on this one. This guy's doing a crank of shame out there. Something about these cold weather, right? Like, you don't want to get out there and look, but man, it's hard on these freaking fifth wheels. Hey, look at there. Hey, hey, guy, I'll pretend like you didn't do it. We'll, we'll both pretend. You just back all right out of there. No one will notice that you hit that bridge. <laughs> we'll pretend like, oh, no, I just, I picked up this trailer this way. <laughs> you, did you know I hold one flatbed load in my... All my years of driving a daggone truck, I haul one. And guess what? It didn't look this bad. My tarp job did not look that bad at all. At all. You can't even see the stinking lights. Look, coming up the freaking lights. How do I know if you're trying to get over? I can't know, because why? You got them freaking lights all stuck. Or are you all hidden? Oh, man. Well, watch this guy. All the way from the left to the right. That's the stuff we see on Four Wheeler Friday. But this this week it's on Bonehead Truckers of the Week. That's how we roll this week, okay? That's how we roll. Now watch over here in the left lanes over here. This is unfortunate that you're about to see. All right, this is not a Bonehead Truckers, or it's not a Bonehead Trucker. This is stuff that just happens. Blows a tire, and yeah, that. So you got to give us room. You got to get the trucks room, man. Ah, uh, someone pulled out a little too early. There's a forklift out there. Oh, Western Express. Western Express trying to steal a forklift. That's what it is. Western Express trying to steal a forklift because, you know, like, that's just what they do over there. <laughs> want to go back to prison. My name is Mike. Um, I got my license, my CDLs in 1996 of February. I've been leased on to TRC since March of 23. I ain't got nothing but good things to say about TRC. TRC differs from other carriers in several different ways. A lot of carriers will charge you anywhere between 20 to 30% to run their MCs, to pull their freight, to be forced dispatch. At TRC, it's not like that. What it's really like is if you want to call the broker, you call the broker, you negotiate your rates, you do everything that you need to do to make your business successful. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped you guys understand a little more about TRC Freight. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us, trcandme.com.